The defense funding bill passed by the House just a few days ago includes money to fight a battle inside the Defense Department, the battle against sexual assault. Lawmakers have set aside more money to fight an emerging issue, child pornography on Defense Department computers. Our Washington correspondent Bree Jackson has the details. Federal leaders want to do more to protect those who serve our country. I think that we've seen a lot of progress on military sexual assault. Senator Tom Tillis says as part of the National Defense Authorization Act, lawmakers want to include funding for programs that support survivors of sexual assault and establish a new system to encourage victims to come forward without fear of retaliation. Another concern federal leaders plan to address through the NDAA is child pornography. Congresswoman Abigail Spanberger says there's proof abusers are getting access through the Defense Department's internet network. Unfortunately, we have seen um, these images on uh, Department of Defense computers. While child pornography isn't unique to the Defense Department, data shows that DOD's network ranks higher than other service providers for transmitting the illegal images. Lawmakers say they have the power to help fix that. We have great partners with the Department of Defense who want to be strong on rooting this out. Spanberger says the N Network Abuse Act would close security gaps in the network and give the Defense Department more tools to track and prosecute violators. Hope set a firm example for what should be expected in the private sector and other places. Lawmakers say part of their mission for the NDAA is to punish those committing crimes and prevent service members from becoming victims. In Washington, Bree Jackson.